Hi there again everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you're probably wondering what the hell's going on and why I have eyeshadow on like this and no other makeup. The reason being, I thought I would film a first impressions on the um, Makeup Revolution in real life filter um, foundation. But if you are new here, then welcome. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that stuff makes my day when I get new subscribers. It really, really does. No word of a lie. Um, but I'm just going to jump right in and do a first impression video on this foundation. Um, I'm not going to do a wear test or anything on it because it is quite late in the day. Um, but I will update my description box with how I get on with it when I do do like a full a full day with it on. So I'm going to go in with uh, my primer which is the Revolution Pro Blur Stick. I can't really see that there. Um, I absolutely love this primer. I think TikTok made me buy it. TikTok really did make me buy it. Um, if you're wondering how I did create this eyeshadow look, um, I literally have just filmed a video, first impressions on an eyeshadow video um, for this, which will be up either before or after this video, so I will link um, each other's in each other's description boxes. But, I love this, I love this primer, I really, really do. Obviously I cleanse, tone, moisturise and all of that stuff before I even put a stitch of makeup on my face. My camera kept cutting off on the last video, so I'm hoping that it doesn't do it on this one. I really, really am. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into this, and I'm going to put this on with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to do one. I'm going to do two pumps. Now this says it is a long wear foundation with a breathable soft matte base uh, which will give you a breathable soft matte base and it just says it's breathable and in real life with 16 hour wear so let's see how it actually goes on the face okay that's that's quite nice um i'm i'm not not sure it what it smells like it's got quite um it's not an awful smell it's quite distinct that is nice though it's quite nice and that is giving me an, a nice coverage it's not covering up every pore or anything put that in there see it's not covering up every single pore that i've got but you know i have pores i have a little bit of texture i definitely have wrinkles um and it's, it looks nice, it looks nice. I feel like it's gone on quite well. That, yeah, those two pumps have literally done like the whole face. Let's bring that down my neck a bit. Um, I mean, I did get shade F2, which I thought would be a half decent match, but I've got a little bit of tinted moisturizer on, so, uh, on my body, so it's not, the greatest match right now but I think sometimes when I put the ring light on so I get a nice light it does make me look a little bit paler because um, actually in my mirror it is a very very good match so we'll have to see when we put um, products over the top but I have got a couple of new products that I think I'm just going to bob over the top as well I have filmed a video of like my new some of my new ins um, but I'm going to I'm gonna do a couple more because why the hell not when I get using them I'm just sat in a drawer. No, I like that. It doesn't. It doesn't feel sticky um, at all on the skin. Uh, it's. It doesn't feel heavy either. It's given me a very very good coverage because I could. I was getting like a hormonal like spot there, and it's really really covered it up. Um, and those two pumps have done the whole face. So yeah, I'm liking that so far. Um, let's see how it is in a little bit and we're just going to put the other products on top of it and see how it fares um, with the other products on top. Okay so I've turned my ring light down slightly and I think that's making it look a little bit less washed out um, but yeah loving that. So I'm going to go in with a Juvia's Place. Um, <clears throat> what happened to the voice? I'm going to go in with a Juvia's Place uh, concealer and this is my first time using this and this is um, the Magic Concealer, and this is in the shade 22. So, this is the doe foot there. It's 
that's quite a nice big doll foot and then I, I really do love the packaging it's like super nice so I'm just gonna a little bit there it's quite thick there. I'm just gonna highlight slightly there, 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 and I'm gonna do there because I just feel like going mad with the highlighter, concealer even. I'm just gonna bounce that in. Okay, so that is that is going nicely on top of that foundation. Loving that. Really, really liking that. Okay, let's see how it does on the under eyes. So. I'm really liking that on the under eye. Really liking it. Wow, the colour looks so pale. So I am absolutely loving those two together as a combination. They are really nice. Loving that, really loving it. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of like contouring, I think. Because, why not? I feel like the last few foundation that I've got, foundations that I've purchased, I've ordered online and I've just got the colour a little bit out. Like, it's just a little bit too pale. Um, but we're just going to have to live with it and we're just going to have to roll with it. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Cover and Conceal Ultra Professional Cover and Conceal Palette. Um, because I get another one it's yet, that I'm yet to use. So, yeah, I got this in light to medium. Oh god, can't open that. And those are the uh, colours right there. So I'm going to cream contour with this colour right here. I'm going to take this on my, me, my PC18 brush. That And it looks a little bit orange. So I'm just going to mix that in with the colour next to it. Which is a little bit of a better match. So let's mix those two together and... Hmm, it's quite nice. Should warm me up nicely. And I'm just going to bring that up to the temples as well. I'm just going to use pattern motions. And that is just going on that foundation just super nice. I think I'm going to get this foundation in another colour. I think I'm going to go for the next colour up. Um, and then I can mix the two together because it does... In in real life, in real life, IRL, it doesn't look, I'm looking at the mirror here, it doesn't look um, as pale as it does on camera. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I really am liking it. Like all of the products are going so nicely on top of it. Like a dream. Like a dream. And using this brush hasn't like lifted any of the other products away. Although I am going to bounce some of that in as well, just to get rid of some of that harshness. I do feel like that's warming me up as well. Yeah, that's definitely warming my up. My up, me up, warming me up. I'll put a little bit of that contour under my chin. Okay, so the uh, concealer is creasing slightly, but I do think that's because I haven't set it. Okay, I'm definitely loving that and I definitely am feeling like a bit warmer now. Like I look a bit less dead because I looked a bit dead. Yeah, loving that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my under eye because it is creasing slightly and I definitely do think that is because I haven't set it, not the product. But we shall see. I could be completely wrong. Okay, so I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Pressed Powder and I'm just going to put that on a little sponge and just like pat. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and brush off that excess straight away because um, I don't really want to bake because I find that that does crease me slightly these days. I mean, I can still get away with it. I can still do it if I want to. I just have to like really concentrate on it but yeah definitely much warmer loving it now loving it now I love it I love this this is really nice this um contour revolution contour thing I think I paid like 2 dollars for that as well in the sale that's really nice liking that it's 
definitely give me a nice just warm look over that foundation um that was just a little bit pale and that's not the foundation's fault that's my fault but um yeah everything's gone nice on top of it really really nice just yeah super impressed with that but i'm gonna powder over the top and i'm going to take my charlotte tilbury tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and i have this in the shade medium and this is only like probably like a third time using it um but i love it you don't need a lot just a little bit and i'm just gonna pat that all over the face and that will again warm me up slightly see sometimes if you do get a, pa a paler foundation it's not the end of the world because the products you put on top can warm you up slightly and sometimes like the colour match you end up buying like two or three of one colour of one foundation to get the right colour it's not on really is it but online this did look like it would be my colour you know the next shade up could be a bit orange for me you just you never know um, but that powder, did we expect anything else? Did we expect anything other than it for it to go on like an absolute dream? I'm loving it. It's, I don't think it will cake it at all either. Okay, so I'm going to bronze again because who doesn't love bronzer? And I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now this is broken so I'm not going to hold up to the camera. But I can still get away with using it. So just a little pat into the bronzer there and I'm just going to very lightly... It's like super, I love the smell of this. It's gonna be super light. See, so even that, there's like nothing that's taking the product off. I have found in the past, like sometimes if you go a bit like heavy with the makeup after you put the foundation on, which is obviously what I'm doing right now, hair, um, then sometimes it can like take it off a little bit. But no, it is really, really like just being hardy. It's really, really just yeah liking it so i'm just gonna contour my nose ever so slightly i am always trying to like make my nose look smaller because i've got a huge hooter okay let's blend that contouring on that big bloody nose i'm just gonna go back in with that powder the uh, maybelline fit me and i'm just gonna just bake down there slightly. I do have a huge nose. I have a huge nose. I just own it. Own the nose. Okay, so let's do a bit of blush. I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Flower Power. I love this, love this. And I just go through all four of them. And then I'm like, what, what brush is this? PC15, and I'm just going to tap that in. I always kind of like, I still love like the up through the temples blush. Um, you know, I was born in the 80s though, so I'm gonna love it, aren't I? Let's, let's call a spade a spade, shall we? And if you feel like you've gone a little bit too far with the blush, you can always take your powder brush and just blend that in slightly again. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Uh, so highlighter, well, should, we, should we do a bit of highlight? Why the hell not? Okay, so I'm going to go in with this um, Splendor Ultra Glow Highlighter in Slow Ga slow Glazed from Makeup Revolution. Um, and this is that right there. And I wasn't sure about this the first time I used it. And I hope it's not going to spoil the look, but we're just going to... We're just going to give it a go and just be very light with it. It's huge, this as well. I, I mean, like... I like the, the packaging and the compact, but it's huge. It's like, am I ever going to get through this much highlighter? I'm not going to lie, I actually thought it was a bronzer when I picked it up. I think I was looking at a bronzer and picked up this that was near it, that was in like a similar packaging or size packaging, and came home and had a highlighter and just rolled with it. And for setting spray, I'm going to take this uh, Collection Primed and Redder Make Up Fixing Spray. Lightweight. Matte finish. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go and put some lips on and I will be back. 
So here we are with the finished look. Um, I know that I said the foundation was making me look dead pale but I went for the deepest lip I've got anyway um, because I do feel like the uh, the powder over the top has really warmed it up um, for me anyway. I mean I'm super pale anyway so I always go for a lighter foundation and then sometimes it does just miss the mark. I've The last couple that I've bought have just missed the mark and it's not the foundation's fault, that's my fault. Um, but I really like it. Um, I will let you know in the description box how I kind of get on with um, the wear of it but it's gone on super nice. Every product I've put on top of it, it's not caked, it's it's just, it's not sitting in any fine lines yet. Um, it, you know, it's not, I'm not flawless um, but I don't pretend to be. I've got skin that's got pores and it's got wrinkles and it's got texture um, but it's really evened it out, it's given me a super super nice base um, let's say every product I've put on top of it, the concealer works really well with it the setting powder which was a high end setting powder worked well with it which you know for the amount of money that setting powder costs it should work well with anything someone should come and put it on for me um, but you know drugstore, high end, whatever I've put on top of this foundation is really really just worked well with it and um, the primers worked well so I'm gonna you know I will mix it up I will try it with different primers I'll try it with different um, setting powders different you know dif different everything and even some more uh, uh, liquid products as well like uh, liquid blushes and highlighters and whatnot but so far first impressions I'm really 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 liking it it was £11.99 from the Makeup Revolution website now I did do a Makeup Revolution haul um, a few weeks ago so that this was the main thing that I wanted and then you go on and there's a sale and you, you know you buy other stuff that you don't really need but you just see and want um, but <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I will let you know in the description box how I get on with it, how it wears, how my skin reacts to it when I take the foundation off. But yeah, it's a massive thumbs up from me. Really, really like it. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Um, I really, really, really am growing slowly but surely. I say this in every single video, but I do want to grow my channel. Um, I would love to do this more and more and more. And, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!